I say to those of you guys that have anxiety, panic attack, that you guys are able to leave the house and go to work and do your things, uh, you guys are brave. I know it's hard because even when I leave my house for a couple of blocks, I just want to run back home. And it's really hard. Those were the things that I used to be able to do without having any negative thoughts about opening the front door and just leaving. People that that doesn't have anxiety, they would never understand. Heck, uh, I was one of them. <laughs> just five, just a little bit over five months ago, I, I was able to work, open the front door, just and leave the house for not worry in my mind now. As soon as I get near the door, I even leave in my wall bedroom to use the bathroom. I'm, I'm worried because I get I get negative thoughts, whatever thoughts. As soon as I wake up, I mean, so there's times I can sleep for like six, seven hours straight without waking up once. <laughs> but as soon as I wake up in the morning. It's, they stay on the negative thoughts are there. And all I do is close my eyes and like, tell myself, these are not my real thoughts. These are not my real thoughts. And 95% of the time, it doesn't help. The louder I, I say these are not my thoughts, the negative thoughts gets even louder. <laughs> I mean, trying to figure out why I'm like this. And I'm pretty sure it's from overthinking, even though I'm trying not to think about it. But in the back of my mind, it's always, it's always going to be there. Last week when I went to the hospital, the urgent care, they gave me the pill. All I did was numb my mind, so I wouldn't think I felt normal, but at the same time, I felt like a... Zombie, like I didn't know what was going on. I mean, I knew what was going on, but at the same time, I just, I feel like I was motionless. Like, I didn't know what, like I didn't really care about much. When I was feeling normal, I mean, I, I, I still care, but I wouldn't have any symptoms or anything. Who knows, maybe I had anxiety all this time, but it just gets worse as I got an older or uh, something tr triggered to become uh, anxiety, panic attacks, I'm not too sure. <laughs> and then I hate how doctors just want to say, you need to take this medication to stop the way you think. So once you stop the way you think, you won't have any symptoms. That's what they, they said the first time I went to the hospital. <laughs> and that one doctor that saw me, well, actually, she didn't really do anything. She just asked me what's going on, why am I here, I said. So I've been having more panic attacks than I usually do. They last longer than 15 time minutes. I get them f f about five a day now. <laughs> Some of them last for like an hour. And then they'll be gone for like an hour or two and they'll come back for another hour. So oh, even when I don't feel panicky, the, the symptoms of the dizziness and stuff are still there. Dizziness is what actually throws me into a panic attack. So as soon as I feel any little dizziness symptom, I, I freak out. I just lay down like I usually do. Cover my body in my blanket and just, just lay down, close my eyes and try. Try not to think about, but it's still there. I always look forward to the night time so I can sleep. Before I would just sleep two, three hours because I like being up, going outside, doing whatever. Now I'm afraid to. I'm like the opposite of what I used to be. And for those of you that has anxiety for years, 
and you guys can work and stuff. I mean, though, I'm pretty sure it's hard to work with it. Because I had two or three panic attacks at work and I couldn't handle it. So I would go home early and that's what I lost my job because of that. I also work alone in the building, on my side of the building. So maybe I don't know what triggered that work. But there was bright lights and bright blue colors. Then I guess it didn't help. And I wish I can find a job that works from home, but to keep my mind off this, this negative touch. But even when I don't think, I'm not thinking, it's always going to be there in the back of my head. So. I command you guys that I have to go through anxiety and being able to go out there and work, going out and shopping, hanging out with your friends and stuff. You guys are brave. I know you guys still suffer, but you guys are brave in the people that doesn't understand. Like I said, I was one of them. You guys that don't understand. Never tell someone that has anxiety that you just, you guys want attention or snap out of it. Because if we could snap out of it, we would have. It's like can everything the opposite. When you say just snap out of it, we think that we will never do. We will never snap out of it. When you say you guys want attention, we do, just not the attention you guys think we do. We want people to understand that this is real. It's not just in our head. Sure, maybe thinking about what what might happen, what will happen hours from now, years from now, days from now, will just make it worse. It might be, part of it might be in our head, but the symptoms are real. When I'm sweaty, I feel detached. How, how are you going to say it's in my head? That doesn't make sense. When my legs feel weak and wobbly, how can you say it's in my head? I don't think it is. Like I said, for sure, thinking about it will only make it worse. But for those of you guys that don't have it and think it's funny how it's easy, that easy to get with stuff, I, I dare you to live in a day with, I dare you to be in our shoe for a day and you won't be happy. <laughs> I used to wake up on Friday morning and be happy because actually I used to work when I was working, I was working in the graveyard shift from Sunday to Thursday. So when I came home Friday morning, I'll be like really happy like yes, TGIF just like everyone else. But now I'm like, it's always Friday to me because I'm always at home. Not being able to work, going out with my family, it sucks. I feel like a person in my own body. Like my mind is my own enemy. That's how I feel. Last night I had like another really bad panic attack. And it just brought me to tears because I keep saying... What do I do to deserve this? What do any of us do to deserve this nightmare? When will it end? And when I hear some of you guys that say you had it for years, I feel bad for you guys too, even though I had it on five months, but that five months has just gone by 
just like that. And that's, that's when the first week of November, this will be the first time I won't be able to enjoy Thanksgiving with my family <laughs> without feeling anxious, worrying about everything and anything. I won't be able to buy gifts for my family. And that's just makes my anxiety worse. I even told them I'm sorry that I can't work, not brave enough to work, that I won't be able to buy you anything. They understand. They told me to stop worrying about them. They can worry about themselves, but you know how our minds are. We worry about every little thing, and I'm not going to lie. It assess me that I can't do anything. I know if it was like this. Be brave. I try to be brave, and I just can't. F I just can't find it in my heart to be brave at times. When I watch videos of you guys that could go outside, do your thing, I, I always tell myself like you, you need to be like them. They are brave. They might be struggling. Just like you, but you need to be brave. But as soon as I get up and I feel weak in my legs, <laughs> dizzy, I'm just like, you know what? That's them. I can't be like them. And that sucks. I know I need to think positively that I can, I can do it, but I keep my back on my mind. It's like, don't even think about it. You know you can't do it. And, I listen to the negative thoughts in my head. Maybe if I can think more positive, this I can will get better. <laughs> I always I used to look forward to wake up up in the morning so I can go out. Even though I don't always go out with my friends, I. And my girlfriend and our daughter. Sometimes my girlfriend doesn't go first to the mall. Sometimes I'll just bring my daughter now. Now my daughter would just go with her friends. And I feel bad because I don't get to like go out with my, with the family like I used to. I mean, now my parents and my brother my family understands how I feel because I, I that one day when I went to the hospital or before I went to the hospital, I, I was going to the family room. I don't know where I just stopped panicking. I just sat on the floor. I just started busting out in tears because I told them every little thing that I was feeling. So then I was feeling useless. I don't know why I feel the way I feel. I just keep telling them that I keep feeling like I'm going to die. I won't make it to see another day. But I'm sorry that, that, that I'm here alive. Sorry that I dropped out of middle school. Then uh, high school. Or I was in the best son, etc. I'm the youngest. And I even said, I even told them that I blame myself for everything. Even though I know I, I didn't do it, I, I just might blame myself, especially when they stop having disagreements. I blame myself just so they can, they won't fight. I would be the person that gets blamed rather than seeing people fight because sometimes I'm the person in the middle and I hate that. Even at work, I used to be the one in the middle and they're like, who's, who do you think should take the blame? Who's 